Tesla is now rolling out the software update, uh, what, what's called Enhanced Summon. But if you ask me, this is probably the most innovative, high tech, and just flat out amazing feature that has been ever put in a car. I don't know why more people, and especially Tesla fans, are making a bigger issue out of this. To me, this is the beginning of real revolution of self-driving cars. This is probably the most amusing thing you will ever see. Um, there are a few videos that are coming out of those people who got that update and now doing this uh, uh, enhanced uh, auto summon, or is it called parking lot summon? So let me show you some of those videos. We'll talk about some positives, and there are some negatives, though, on that. Uh, all of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, all you have to do is smash that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward, but most importantly, become a part of this amazing community. We are talking about this amazing feature. Again, this is the feature which is um, already supported by the hardware in all Model 3s and uh, a lot of latest uh, Model S and Model X cars. And this is an over-the-air update. This is one of those times when your car gets better for free with the over-the-air uh, update. Now, there are issues with the over-the-air update and issues with the, you know keeping up to date with the hardware, but let's just leave that aside. We'll just talk about the cars that are eligible for that right now. They're getting it for free. Uh, it's rolling out right now. And what this does is actually it takes, you know, you, you can come out of the store, your house, and uh, the car could be parked somewhere in a parking lot. And if you initiate this summon feature, and I think within uh, within 150 feet, so there's some distance uh, uh, there, the distance limitation, but the car will come out of the parking spot and drive to you and meet you in front. I think this is amazing. I think there's ever been a case for having this high tech electric cars. And I know they can technically go into the gas cars, but I think uh, by thinking electric car, it just works better because the car technically is always on. Um, I don't know what it is. Like this is so. Let me show you some of the videos. Um, now the first two videos are okay. So this one is from Dapper Tech. Um, as you can see, this is uh, boom. See that little Model Three? It looks like it's some just all all maybe it's some sort of a parking lot for for Tesla. Maybe it's a Tesla employee. Um, so as you can see, the car has no driver inside. It's just kind of coming out of there. Um, and um, that's the owner. Just kind of. You, I think you have to continue pressing the button and it just comes out there and so as you can see it's pretty slow and I think it, yeah at some point just stops for absolutely no reason like it's kind of scared of its own shadow but and you know it ended up making it to the owner so I mean to me this is freaking amazing okay let me show you another one this one is as ironically named YouTube channel uh, called driving Tesla even though there's nobody driving the Tesla right now but uh, this one is a kind of an empty parking lot and um, as you can see that just comes out of the spot and this video is kind of long but it ends up making a um, a uh, relatively long trip around, you know, and I guess they didn't really summon it to where the camera is. They summon it to somewhere else. So when you watch that video, you think, oh, it just completely got lost. It actually didn't. But as you can see, as all those, you know, cars you'll see in the videos, this one is relatively slow. So now let me show you another video. Uh, this is a third one. I have four videos to show, and the fourth one is by far the best. Like these are all kind of. Uh, um, because it's too slow. Um, here's another one where the Tesla is coming out of someone's house, and uh, this one is uh, by uh, Neha Singhi. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing the, the name right. Um, this one is also pretty slow when it comes out, and I think they had to cut the video and uh, kind of fast forward to it when it finally makes it to uh, where he's at. Um, so that's that's still, I absolutely love that. But uh, let me show you the best video that I've seen. I mean, these are all kind of like, all right. Uh, before that, I, before I forget also, uh, let me remind you that this video on this channel is sponsored by Accelerate Auto, the extended third-party warranty for your electric vehicles, including the Tesla Model 3, up to 125,000 mile coverage, which is pretty good, and only $100 deductible, half of what some other manufacturers are offering. And just for you guys, my audience, there's a uh, discount code for, up, for $100 for you guys. So go ahead, uh, figure out... Uh, uh, well, depending on which state you're in, figure out which form to fill out and get your free quote in the description of this video. All right, so let me play you the last video that I wanted to show you. And this one's freaking impressive, okay? So this is a real parking lot with real people and real cars, right? Like this is not a control environment like you've seen in other videos. Um, yeah, this guy's giving a shout out and this is um, this is a uh, Kassar Studios YouTube channel. Um, and so, and, I, and it looks like it's a re 
re new video, reposted video. Um, so as you can see, it comes out and this one is actually going pretty fast, especially for a parking lot that has obviously cross traffic and, um, and it's kind of navigating relatively quickly. Now, at this point, it does look like it's going on the, in the opposite direction lane, if you will. But look, it's, it's making its way and it's driving pretty fast. So to me, this is freaking impressive to me. That's the video of the week. And, 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 you know, I am excited because that, I mean, this, this is for real amazing. This is for real amazing. And, uh, and, and obviously the car's going to get faster and, you know, and, and, and hopefully there will be no incidents. Um, uh, but I, I am blown away. I think this is what, you know, Tesla innovation and electric cars are all about. And I'm really freaking excited about it. I'm not really sure why people are not on the street celebrating this. Like, like, uh, yeah, but so let's get to the positives and negatives, just like every story has. So here we go. All right. Well, I think I've kind of gave up the positives right away because I think it's one of the best things that happened to Tesla. One of the th best things uh, that happened to high tech. One of the best things that ever happened to cars. The fact that, I mean, this is something that when we were younger, we've seen this in movies, right? Where some car, a car we parked will go out there and, and meet us there. I think Men in Black comes to mind, but like put... Put in the description of this, uh, in the comment section of this video, all the movies that you've seen something like this. And when we were watching, it was like, wow, that is insane. The car's going to meet me in front of the store or wherever I'm at in my office by coming out of the parking lot by itself. So yes, this is the positive. Now there are a few negatives. So I'm not, I mean, the, the negatives are tiny, but I'm still want to, there are a couple of cautious uh, things. Now, one of the things that I want to mention is that, uh, you know, the car is pretty slow. And uh, first of all, some people might just not waste their time and saying, you know, I'd rather walk to the freaking car by the time I know I have to be pressing the button and look for, you know, it's just, it, it's cool to demonstrate for your friends and amuse people. But I think as far as um, actual practicality, it's probably not there yet. Um, it's just a good start. So that's number one. But secondly, this car, you know, like, you know, we know way more cars, right? They're self-driving by themselves. I believe in Arizona and people are really abusing those cars and throwing stuff at them because they are tired of how slowly, cautiously they're driving and they're becoming a nuisance in some cases so people really, really hate them. I'm afraid that unless Tesla kind of ups this whole thing, it will, the same thing will happen with... Uh, with these cars, where people will just hate, oh, there's another Tesla, you know, driverless Tesla, or, you know, trying to get on my way or whatever. I also hope there are no a accidents, right? I mean, I, like you saw that the red one, right? It was kind of going into the, you know, the opposite direction, if you will. Um, I'm not really sure if it was checking traffic, but if some car was going pretty fast and this car was going slow, I can see how that could have been a problem or at least at very least annoyance. So I hope there are any kind of like incidents or accidents like that, um, you know, at all. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. So that is the negatives that we have to worry about. So hopefully it will go smooth. Hopefully this car will start be able to drive faster. I know it's also subject to regulations, but nevertheless, there's, there's probably more work to do, but this is absolutely freaking amazing. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are as excited as I am. A lot of people say how I'm a, you know, Tesla hater and all of that stuff, but they obviously don't watch videos like this where I'm really freaking excited. And don't forget, this is not just about Tesla. This is about also going to be pushing other manufacturers to do something like this. Because if I was to pick between two cars that are maybe the same in terms of range and other stuff that anybody can put into the car, this is definitely, you know, a, a, a huge competitive advantage for Tesla. So this will be pushing other car manufacturers. Again, car manufacturers all of a sudden I sell like I'm from Massachusetts, uh, which may, may not be a bad thing, actually. Um, you know, uh, uh, push other car manufacturers to to do better and, and to achieve something similar to that, or even maybe try to beat Tesla. So I'm all for that. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.